she got she's it good. so well. So yay for her. And if it spoiled it, yes. well, then you should have watched it. It's your fault, not mine. <laughs> exactly. So unless you're from New Zealand, because New Zealand is actually two weeks behind. <gasps> no. Mm-hmm. They, if I'm not mistaken, they are. Let's see. You're a week behind us. New Zealand is like two weeks behind. Well, that explains why I've got so many New Zealanders in the country. Frickin' hell! If only I'd knew. If only I'd known. <laughs> if only I'd known. Do 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 do. Oh gosh. Alrighty. Uh, have we got another one? Another rant? I think we do. Yes, we do. Actually, we have a few of them. Um, we have a lot to talk about this week. So uh, yes. Um, my rating of Night Terrors, the episode that just finished playing, and I, I won't give you really any spoilers, um, I would probably have to give it out of, from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10, pink, 10 being the best, I'd probably give it probably either a 5.5 or a 6. Okay, what on the creepy scale? Because I didn't like the one with the gas marks a few seasons ago. That one really creeped me out. Are you my mummy? Yeah, that bleh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever want to see that episode again. And unfortunately, that seems to be my daughter's favourite one because it makes me squirm. So, yeah. So what is it on the creepy level? Um. Well, it's got dolls that turn people into dolls. So on the creepy scale, that's it's pretty creepy. Episode overall, not so much. It's not really... Some people like it, some people hate it. I, It's hard to make a decision because, for me, the speed is an issue. Because at first it starts off kind of slow, and then there's a random twist that you do not see coming at all. But then you stop and think about it, and you go, really? Was that really necessary? Uh -huh. And then by the time you have a chance to really wrap your brain all the way around it, it's over. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So this one, if I decide to tape it and then accidentally or purposely don't watch it, then that's okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, you know, I liked it, but I wouldn't be in a hurry to go watch it again. Ah, well, that's all right then. That's cool. Okay, uh, we got one more rant. I think we do. Yes? Two more. Two more, actually. Two more. Um, one about Marianne and then uh, one about Dragon Con. So whichever one you want to hear first. Uh, go Marianne first. Get the good one All out right. the way. Then so, we can both snarl. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so you sent me a copy of Marianne's book, Burn Bright. Yes. Um... I literally, I picked it up, I looked at it, and I saw it, I said, oh, cool, this is neat, it's a book, you know, didn't really think anything else of it. Well, I flipped through it, and I completely missed what you wanted me to see at first, mm -hmm. and I was just going to kind of skim through it to just kind of get an idea of what was going on. I started reading, and the next thing I know, I'm looking up, and it, I'm on chapter three. Yeah, huh? You just fly through the pages, and you it's a really easy read, and it it's really something that everyone can kind of relate to. Everyone has been in a situation where they thought, oh, if I could just escape. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, what would happen if you, know, you did? Would you really be prepared to escape? So it's really cool. And I also like... Um, after all of this, I flipped back to the front, and I saw that I had been given a little shout-out. Apparently, Marianne loves my work. I was like, oh, my God. Awesome. <laughs> See, Marianne has that effect on me every time she emails me back. So, you know, every time it's like, oh, that made my day. <laughs> so I go around, and it's like midnight by this point, and I am telling everyone, I'm like, yeah, this author from Australia. Yeah, she likes me. <laughs> yeah, you don't get that, do you? No, you see, the Australian author, yeah, she doesn't like you. She likes me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and when we get her on, we'll talk more about her books because she's got more than just that one. She's got, like, tons and tons of books out. 
and we're also trying to get that book that you're reading published in the US because you know I don't know someone hasn't got a brain out there and they have denied it three times so far so fourth time lucky we're hoping well I don't know she does a lot of the sci-fi stuff and I don't know if sci-fi books are as popular here I know sci-fi television shows are really popular but I don't know about books. Well, she's not necessarily trying for the sci-fi book. She's trying for Burn Bright. She's trying for that book that you've got there. And technically, it's not sci-fi. It's young adult. Yeah. So, cross our fingers. We'll get back to it. I'm going to go and bug her later on today, which will be Saturday. But, you know, that'll be Friday for you. (laughs) Today's Thursday, but no, it's Wednesday. (laughs) It's all wibbly-wobbly, (laughs) timey-wimey. Yeah, so now we're going to um, have a bit of a snarl really quickly. Yes, so um, a couple of friends of mine, uh, one of them known as Lady S on Facebook, um, she does a lot of videos and a lot of um, a lot of fandom videos for uh, Doctor Who related stuff. And another friend of mine, Stephanie, uh, they went to Atlanta uh, this past week to Dragon Con. Oh. <gasps> And they are constantly posting pictures throughout of all of the things we're missing, including a parade, which was awesome. I, I looked through. This girl took, like, hundreds of pictures of this parade. And people went all out. And there was a huge Doctor Who community. It was amazing. Cool. I wonder if they outnumbered the Stormtroopers this year. I doubt it, but I did see um, someone had, there were two people actually that had a, um, like, the Gallifreyan Lord President uh, costume, the actual, like, Time Lord costume with the head veil and the robes and all that, Mm -hmm. and it looked fantastic, and there was one guy who was dressed up as um, Professor Snape from Harry Potter. And I had to do a double take because I thought that was Alan Rickman. Ooh. So it, they did. They went all out. There was one picture. They had a um, a TARDIS on top of a black London taxi. Oh, that would have been cool. It was awesome. And they had like the um, the original Batmobile. They had um, the Ghostbusters Ecto One out there. It was so cool, but the part that got me was, um, some of you may have heard of him, probably not, I don't know. Well, two things. One, um, I got a random phone call from Stephanie telling me that um, she, uh, well, first of all, she was all excited, so it took, me, it took me a second to understand what the hell she was saying, but then she tells me, after she finally takes a breath, that she got to hug um, the guy who plays Ianto from Torchwood. Eee. And got her picture taken with him. So I thought that was kind of cool. The second thing was, she tags me in a picture on Facebook. And it's a pin with um, the gothic uh, songwriter uh, Voltaire. Ah. Then she flips the pin over and I have his autograph. Oh, <gasps> yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, and I was like, you actually got to meet him and talk to him? She goes, oh, yeah, he was cool. I'm like, do you even know who he is? No, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we love all you people that got to go to Dragon Con, but you suck. Yes. <laughs> big ones. Yeah, big, fat, hairy, stinky ones, too. <laughs> yes, but um, real quick, I actually forgot to say something. Marianne, thank you very much for the um, autograph. I'm glad you like everything that we do. So, you know, that was actually really, really, it really brightened my day. I had just gotten back from uh, spending three weeks with my in-laws when I got that. So, yeah, I kind of needed that. Yeah, she has the effect of making everything just seem a little bit nicer. Just adds that little bit of and sugar. special. Yeah. So, yay. Okay. Now, do you want to start or do you want me to start? Uh, let's see. I guess I'll do it. Okay. <clears throat> All righty. So, I guess I got to finally move the uh, interesting conversation doll. Okay. Bye, guys.
Man arrested for alleged, allegedly biting python twice. Snake expected to recover after emergency surgery, losing ribs and getting stitched up. Ew. From September 2nd. 